Welcome to the physics place, the place to learn about physics, and in this video I'm going to explain how you can calculate acceleration. For, therefore I will first explain what acceleration actually is. So if we have a movement, uh, which will be given here in this graph, uh, with a constant acceleration, uh, and it starts with a velocity of 0 meters per second uh, at the beginning, so at 0.0, .0 time, and it will accelerate, then it could have a velocity after one second of, for instance, 2.5 meters per second. And if it will accelerate with a constant acceleration, that means that after another second, again, a velocity of 2.5 meters per second will be added, so that will be 5.0 meters per second. And again, again, after one second, again, 2.5 meters per second will be added and it will look like this so now we are speaking about a constant acceleration and you can see that every second uh, this movement is going on the same velocity is being added so this one is going with a constant acceleration if we look in a graph it will look like this so if we have the velocity here and the time here you can see that at the beginning it's stationary after one second it's going two and a half meters per second after two seconds it's going five meters per second and so on and as you can see it's a straight line so that shows us that it's a constant acceleration now what does acceleration mean acceleration is the rate of change of velocity in one second so if you want to calculate the acceleration you need to know what the rate of change of velocity is so how much did the velocity change in one second uh, in this case and the acceleration is 2.5 meters per second per second. That's the change it made. So for every second, the velocity here changed with 2.5 meters per second. And as you can see here, if we uh, say it again, 2.5 meters per second per second. So we say per second twice. So the velocity per second. So if we have two per seconds, we actually write it like this. So we have 2.5 meters per second square. So there's a square here. We do not use it in a calculator, it's just uh, the unit which we write down, but we never do 2.5 to the square, because we only write it down, so it's the unit. So never use this, uh, we just use the 2.5 here, and this is the unit. And you can also write it like this, you have to check your book which one you use. Now, to calculate this, we need this equation. So the velocity, uh, sorry, the acceleration given here is the initial or the final velocity minus the initial velocity also known as delta velocity divided by the final time minus the initial time also known as the delta time so a the acceleration is go given in meters per second square we've written like this or like this we have the final velocity here uh, minus the initial velocity divided by the final time minus the initial time and then we also can write it like this with the deltas and the delta is the rate of change so uh, you can calculate the rate of change by uh, doing final min minus initial and it can be or, uh, either for velocity or for time that doesn't matter or for even other quantities and uh, now an example if we return with the previous example with the table here and the graph here we can now calculate the acceleration uh, from this movement so we can use this equation and we need the final velocity minus the uh, initial velocity so the final velocity was 20 the initial velocity was 0, so 20 minus 0, and the final time was 8 seconds minus 0, so 8 minus 0. Uh, so 20 divided by 8 it equals 2.5 meters per second per second, or meters per second square. And that's indeed the f uh, acceleration which was in this movement. So this is how this uh, uh, equation works. And now a few examples of how you can use it. Uh, before we go that, uh, it's very important that the velocity here needs to be in meters per second, because you go here to meters per second square, so the velocity needs to be in meters per second. That's important because in this question, we start with kilometers per hour, so you need to be able to... Uh, translate that to rebuild it to meters per second to convert that a car can accelerate from 0 kilometers per hour to 100 kilometers per hour in 3.4 seconds it can stop within 2.3 seconds calculate both accelerations so it uh, is an acceleration to go from 0 to 100 and it's also an acceleration to go from 100 in 0 when it's stopping again so we have to calculate both those accelerations and we will first start with the acceleration so with go gaining speed and we need uh, a few things. The velocity, the final velocity is 100 km per hour, divided by 3.6 to go to meters per second, because we always need meters per second. The initial velocity, 0 uh, meters per second, because 0 km per hour, and that's the same. Also, if you divide 0 by 3.6, it will be 0. The final time is 3.4 seconds, because it takes him 3.4 seconds. Uh, the initial time isn't given, but you should be able to uh, distribute from the from the uh, question that it's 0.0, .0 seconds. And the acceleration is the one we need to calculate, and we will use this equation. So 
27.8, that's the final velocity minus 0.0, .0 which was the initial velocity, divided by 3.4, which was the final time, minus 0.0, .0 which was the initial time, and we have an acceleration of 8.2 meters per second square. So the acceleration was 8.2 meters per second square. This is the acceleration. When accelerating, now it will break. So now it's going to lose uh, speed and it will also accelerate, but there will be something strange and we will see what that is in, uh, when I tell you the answer. Now the final velocity when braking is uh, 0.0 meters per second because it's stationary after it has been braking. The initial velocity was 100 kilometers per hour or divided by 3.6, 27.8 meters per second. The time, the final time was 2.3 uh, seconds and the initial time wasn't given, so it's 0.0, .0 seconds. And we have to calculate the acceleration. And now we have to look out uh, with this one because we have to put it, uh, everything in correctly. So now the final velocity is 0.0. .0. Because the final because it's uh, stationary minus 2.78, which was the initial velocity. So these two are have now changed. 2.3 was the final time minus 0.0, .0 was the initial time, and it will look like this. So we have a negative number here, and that's because now it was not accelerating, but it was decelerating. So it will be a negative number. A negative acceleration is the same as a deceleration, and that's when you are uh, losing speed or velocity. So now we have minus 12.1 meters per second squared. So that minus means that it was actually decelerating, which is of course logical because it was braking. So we can either say it has an acceleration of minus 12.1 meters per second squared, or it has a deceleration of 12.1. And then we skip the minus because the minus has been put in the word deceleration because that's the opposite of acceleration. So uh, you have to really look out that you fill in the equation in the correct order uh, and good. You have to look good what the final and the initial velocities are. Time usually cannot be negative, but these can be negative. Uh, next example. The maximum speed when parachuting is 20 km per hour. So you jump out of the plane, you start accelerating until you hit the 20 km per hour. And that's ar around the average speed, which is maximum uh, when jumping out of a plane. During the jump, the acceleration is 9.8 meters per second. After how many seconds do you reach this 200 kilometers per hour? And you may neglect air resistance. Of course, due to air resistance, this is your maximum speed, but during the acceleration, you can neglect air resistance. And you have to calculate how long it will take you to hit 200 kilometers per hour when your acceleration is 9.8 meters per second. So we have the acceleration, uh, second square, sorry, and there should be a square here. I don't know where it is. Uh, we have the change in velocity because you went from zero to 200. So the change in velocity is 200 kilometers per hour, which is a positive change because you went from zero to 200. Divided by 3.6 is 55.6 meters per second. Uh, and we need to calculate the time it took us. This is the equation. Uh, we can also use this one instead of the final and initial and the minus and everything. You can also use the one with the delta. Now uh, we have to rebuild it because we need to calculate the time. So we need to calculate the two with the six and three. Six divided by three is two. So we can swap these two so it will look like this. The time is the rate, uh, this change in velocity divided by the acceleration. So 55.6 here divided by 9.8 uh, equals 5.7 seconds. So it will take you 5.7 seconds uh, to hit the maximum speed of 200 kilometers per hour. So this is also something you have to do. You have to rebuild this equation and then also use it. That's it. I hope you know what acceleration now is and how you can calculate with it. If you found this video helpful, please let me know by liking and of course subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.